Have you ever felt extremely miserable and down and you try to find answers as to why you may feel so spiritually empty? Have there been times when you felt that all of the doors have been closed around you? The doors seem shut on your face. Has there ever been a time, my beloved brothers and sisters, where you have been struck with so many financial difficulties as if there was no way out of the situation that you're in? Darkness above darkness. You take out your hand, it is as if you can't see it. That's because of how dark it is. My brothers and my sisters, there are many reasons as to why we may feel a certain way. As to why we may feel the sins that at times we may take so lightly have some serious consequences that will come back to haunt us. The first spark to one shooting out of the religion. And yes, Al-Ma'asiyatu Baridu al The sin that one carries out, it is the first spark to disbelief. كَمَا أَنَّ الْقُبْلَةَ بَرِيدُ الزِّنَى أو بَرِيدُ الْجِمَعَ Should I say, just as the kiss is the first spark to sexual intercourse, وَكَمَا أَنَّ الْغِنَى بَرِيدُ الزِّنَى And just as the music that one listens to is the first spark to his dinner. Brothers and sisters, the first Consequence, brothers and sisters, Ibn Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi, he says, from the consequences of sins is that one is deprived of knowledge. Have you guys heard of an Imam Shafi and also an Imam Malik? Imam Malik was absolutely amazed at how sharp the memorization of an Imam Shafi rahmatullahi alayhi. And he said to him the following, Inni ara. أن الله قد ألقى في قلبك نورا فلا تطفئها بظلمة معصية. I can see that Allah Azza wa Jalla has placed a nur, a light in your heart. Do not extinguish this light with the darkness of sinning. Subhanallah. As time went on, they say the memorization of Imam Shafi'i became affected. He started suffering from some memory loss. His memorization was so sharp. Imagine you have a kitab, right? He would have to cover one side. Just so it doesn't get mixed with the other side. Photographic memory. Allahu Akbar. So his memory became affected. You know what the reason was? They say because he saw the ankles of a woman. There was ankles on the ankle and he looked at it. And that affected his memory. I remember before I was leaving Al Yemen, one brother said to me, listen, Muhammad, because he knew I memorized the Quran. He said, Muhammad, I advise you not to go back to the UK. I said, why? He goes, you may look at a woman and you will end up forgetting the whole Quran. Well, I looked at the brother and I thought, is he being serious? As time went on, I began to realize exactly what he meant. Imam Shafi's memory became affected because he looked at some bangles on a woman's ankles. Now you live in this sexualized society. He saw the ankles of a woman that had bangles and it affected his memory. And then he mentioned these very famous lines of poetry when he said, شَكَوْتُ إِلَىٰ وَكِيعٍ سُوَ حِفْذِي فَأَرْشَدَنِي إِلَىٰ تَرْكِ الْمَعَاسِ فَأَخْبَرْنِي بِأَنَّ الْعِلْمَ نُورٌ وَنُورُ اللَّهِ لَا يَفْدَى لِعَاسِ I complained to Waqi' about my bad memory loss. For a very long time I thought, why did he go to Waqi' Who is this individual called Waqi' ibn al-Jarrah? He could have gone to Imam Malik, he could have gone to so-and-so, and that individual, but he went to Waqi' I'll tell you guys why after. I complained to Waqi' about my bad memory loss. He advised me to leave of sinning. Out of all of the advices that he could have given him, he told him, leave of sins. Allahu Akbar.